Hi, and thank you for tuning in to the Daily Dose for Spiritual Growth. We are in Minnesota this week. For those of you that have never been, we're giving you a little uh, tutorial of the state. Yes. We're only hitting a few spots. <laughs> but what we are doing is we're going to locations that have been so meaningful in our own personal walk with the Lord. And today we are at a really special one. Yeah. This is Praise Christian Center. It is a church in Crystal, Minnesota, and it means a lot to us. But one main thing is that this is the church that Pastor and I met at. That's right. I had my eyes on this Tell one right stop. here. So. Actually, he had his eyes on a lot of girls. Um, uh, let's be honest. Here. Anyway, um, I was. <laughs> but he ended up with this one, and that worked out great. Best one. Yes, 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 that is true. Yes. But anyway, we met in the youth group here many moons ago. Yes. And um, so many fun memories of that the dating years, but really what we wanted to highlight today is discipleship. Yeah. Discipleship is the process after you've put your faith in Jesus Christ, you become a disciple of his. And really the rest of your relationship with the Lord as you live on earth is growing closer to him and becoming more like him. And we were really discipled when we were here. That's right. Yeah. And I just want to highlight just the people that were part of this church. Yeah. You know, we were, we grew up in, uh, we're part of the youth ministry here. And we had, I had uh, youth leaders that intentionally poured out uh, their lives into mine, uh, intentionally mentoring me, discipling me. And who I am today has a big role in those adults, those young adults that were pouring their lives into mine. And so we just wanted to read a scripture in the Bible that talks about discipleship and calling all believers to make disciples. It is in Matthew 28, beginning in verse 18. It says, Jesus came and told his disciples, I have been given all authority in heaven and on earth. Therefore, go and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Listen to verse 20. It says, teach these new disciples to obey all the commands I have given you. And be sure of this, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. And when we think about our time here, I think oftentimes we look at that scripture, we just think about, go, go make disciples. Yes, cool. yes, yes you'll cool. talk about that in a yes. moment. But first, I wanna challenge you, who has discipled you? There's also a recipro you know, a recipiency of that. Yeah. We were recipients of being discipled during these years. And like you said, so many people who just gave them their time, their talents, they noticed us. So who in your life has discipled you? Is it pastors at your church? Is it leaders? Is it a friend? Maybe your parents? Think about that and appreciate the people who have poured into your life and helped to disciple you. Yeah, and the other side of it, so you need to be receivers of discipleship and then you need to be givers of disciples of discipleship. Meaning that once you've received, uh, you know, having people come into your life and you've been discipled and, and here's the thing, the discipleship is a process, right? It's an ongoing process. Um, but really what God has called us to do is that now to go and make other disciples. So as you learn and grow, we should not be selfish with our relationship with God. But what we need to do is we need to go and intention look for other people so we can mentor them and disciple them. So who are you discipling? Who are people right now? Are you serving at your church? Are you mentoring kids? Are you a part of youth ministry? Are you in a small group of people learning and growing from one another? You see, Christianity was not meant to be done in isolation, no. but God has called us into community so we can learn and grow together. I hope whatever church body you are a part of, you are being discipled, yeah. just like we were discipled at this church and as we continue to disciple at the church that we're a part of. Hey, we want to thank you so much for tuning in today, and we hope to see you again tomorrow for another Daily Dose for, for Spiritual, spiritual growth. growth.